Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing well. Welcome to Nade AI Talks. Today we're going to look into how we can integrate the chatbot into our Android application. We're going to build a simple application where we click a button and then we're gonna host the chatbot. <laughs> So the application we're going to use is Android Studio. You can make sure to install it and install the latest version if you want. This is the version I'm using for today. And then we're going to go to the SDK manager. We're going to make sure that we have the settings or the configuration right so that we can run our application. Right. So I'm going to start with an empty activity where it means it's just going to give me a very simple application, the default settings so that we can build our simple application. I'm going to name it chatbot since we're going to integrate the chatbot into the application here. When you choose the version, this will determine which type of phones can use this application. Yeah, we're not going to get too technical because we just want to understand the concept here. So I'm going to check one more thing. In the SDK manager, when we go to SDK tools, we're going to check if we have Android emulator checked because we need this to be able to run the application, right? So this is a virtual device so that we can literally test or run the application and see how it will be like on a virtual phone. So here it's running. And I want to see if it's working. Okay, so it's connecting. It takes time, it takes a bit of time. So let's be patient. Right, <laughs> this is my old application. Right, so now I want to run this and see what is the default application that we have. And then we can take it from there. Right, so once we run the application, it will be something like this and this is the default we will we will get hello world yep so i'll increase the size so that you can see clearly but of course this is not what we want what we want is to have a button and once we press the button we're going to use this code here so that we can host the web demo of our chatbot if you want to learn more about how we built this chatbot and about how we can get this link, you can check the previous videos. We looked into that in more detail. Okay, so now once we get this link in our application, we're going to have this part be hosted on the application itself. So instead of them going to a web page, they're just going to have it inside the application or technically it's just going to be hosted but they don't need to go to an external web page so it just makes it easier for our user here are mistakes to avoid the first one is to manually create the xml file so this is the file responsible of the layout here is how you do it so you right click and add or import it this way it will add it into the right directory so that you won't have it separated from the activity file right so this way it will work better so now i'll go and delete it as you can see it was created here but i created mine here so now i have to delete this because it's not relevant okay that was the first mistake the second mistake is just blindly copying and pasting the code. I emphasize this a lot in my videos. As you can see, I got a lot of errors because there are things that I wasn't aware of in the code. One of the files that you need to check is the buildgradle.kts. This is where you do the configuration, making sure that the versions are compatible. So in this case, the version that you're building is compatible with the device that you're using to test the application. The second file is the activity main.xml. This is the file responsible of the layout. This is how the application is going to look like. So we want to add all the elements that are related to the screen, the things that 
are going to be used by the user to interact with your application. So now, once the user opens the application, the first thing they're going to see is the button. But that's not all we need. We need another page so that once they click the button, the chatbot will be hosted. So we need a new screen. Once we added this new activity, we need to add the code. And this is going to handle how the front end and back end are going to work together. And then here is how we're going to add the XML file where it contains the layout of the activity. Again, this is how you do it. Don't do it manually. This is better. And then now we go to the design mode and we're going to paste the layout here. What we need is the web view, which is going to help us host the chatbot like so. Now the configuration is done, the layout is done, and lastly, we need to make sure that the main activity is done as well. So this is just going to help us bring everything together because this is the first thing or the first code that will be run. But we can't forget about adding the new activity here in the Android manifest file because here we're telling the application acknowledge this new page that I've added. It's part of our application. Right, so now I think the application is ready to be tested. Let's run it. So once the app starts running, you can see now we have our button. The link to host this chatbot has been put in the chatbot activity file where whenever the button is clicked, the chatbot has been hosted on the application. Right now we can chat with our chatbot. This is the one that we trained in our previous videos. So make sure to check the previous videos to see how did we build this chatbot from scratch. Yes. So this is what we trained it on to give us a price of an item. Okay. So it seems like it's working well. And this is the functionality of the app that we built today. Thank you so much for tuning in in this video, and I hope it was informative. If you have any more questions, please leave the comments down below and make sure to support the channel. Subscribe, like, and share it with your friends who are also learning about AI and look forward to more AI videos. Thank you so much for watching.